Preparations for this breakthrough observation began in early 2018 at ESO's Paranal Observatory. Their cutting-edge astronomical equipment was ready to make measurements of one of the most extreme gravitational laboratories at the center of the Milky Way. For the discovery, a combination of three instruments of ESO were used, NACO, Symphony and Gravity, and all of those instruments are unique in the world. NACO is adaptive optics in the infrared. We don't have so many in other telescopes. Symphony is a high resolution spectrograph, very important to measure at which speed the star is coming to us or from, going from us. And gravity is an interferometric instrument, the only one in the world that can combine four big telescopes, eight meters telescope, with a baseline of 130 meters, so having the same resolution as a 130 meter telescope. And it has, in addition, uh, the capability to do astrometry, very accurate astrometry, so it measures movement that are the equivalent of an astronaut on the moon moving a flashlight by about 10 centimeters. And the combination of all these instruments, uh, interferometric and classical spectroscopy, adaptive optics, is what makes ESO unique. It's having all of them on the same side, in a position where you can observe the galactic center in good conditions. So by, by, by testing, by measuring these predicted uh, physical teeny effects, they are a very, very small fraction of what we knew so far. That's why we make, have to make such precise measurements. That's how we can test general relativity in this domain. We need to get very sharp images. And the best way we can get sharp images is to make big telescopes. But since we don't have these very big telescopes, we combine telescopes. We create a, a super telescope, in this case, which is 130 meter diameter. Even with the impressive size of the very large telescope, the only way to precisely measure the path of the star around the supermassive black hole took some innovative telescope teamwork. For our work so far, what we've done is we've taken pictures with the single uh, big telescopes, the single eight meter telescopes, and make them as sharp as you can be. The problem is, and you see this in my hair, there's wind, and the wind distorts the waves. And so either you go out in space, very difficult for an eight meter telescope, or you take the eight meter telescope and you repair. Uh, the distortions which the Earth's atmosphere does, like on a day, on a hot day when you travel along a road and you see the flimmering of the distant approaching cars. So that's what we do, that's called adaptive optics and that makes the images with single telescopes already very sharp. But that's not sharp enough for what we want to do now. We really need to make still better still 10, 20 times sharper images to see the tiny effects of general relativity. And that we do by taking into account that ESO not only has one telescope, but four of these gigantic eight meter telescopes, and we can bring them together as if it's one. That's a very challenging experiment, but we've done this now, and so we are ready to make these measurements at an unprecedented precision. So we combine the light from four telescopes, the very large telescopes, here in the center of the mountain of the observatory. The four telescopes are separated by 130 meter, which means that our super telescope can make 20 times sharper images than a single telescope. So we have all four telescopes. Um, working together and in addition to these four telescopes we have a beam combiner and this combines the light from all the four telescopes and this is gravity. Gravity is of course it's, it's the best because we can really trace the orbit of this star very very carefully with really good accuracy so we can now get very nice orbits and uh, we're, we're trying to test all our theories with this very nice data we have now. Two other state-of-the-art instruments will reveal an effect called gravitational redshift. This is visible when light from the star is stretched to longer wavelengths by the very strong black hole. 
We actually expect that we can see general relativity and, and how can we see that? It's um, actually a slight deviation of how the star is moving and uh, this deviation we can see in, in the first place in the, uh, with the so-called Doppler effect. It's currently approaching us and uh, it will fly away and the, this, this Doppler effect is actually something we can observe by the means of spectroscopy and spectroscopy in turn means that you need a spectrograph and uh, such a spectrograph is symphony and that is the instrument uh, which uh, will be the one which actually is, is observing uh, the relativistic effects. Mm -hmm.